Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how Maxim DL can handle all of the calibration routines behind the scenes in a much more automatic fashion. I'm sure you're going to like what you see today. Open right now, I have six images of the Pelican Nebula, two in hydrogen alpha filter, two through oxygen three, and two through sulfur two, all of which are narrow band filters. They all look pretty uh, pretty gritty and uncalibrated. Namely, they have not had their dark frames, bias frames, and flat fields handled. And here's the magic that I promised you earlier. If we go to the uh, process and set calibration dialog, you'll see that I have I've cleared it out. There's nothing in there, nothing from our prior videos. One of the cool things that MaximDeal allows you to do is go up here to the automatically generate groups section, click on the yellow folder tab, and then point your browser over to a file folder, if you will, that contains nothing but your calibration images. And let me show you what that looks like on the actual hard drive here. If we go to uh, the computer and desktop and head over to the images section. For this group of images for the Pelican Nebula, I've created a folder called Process, and it contains nothing but the bias, dark, and flat fields. And remember, there are flat fields for each of our filter types. In here, I've got uh, B, H, A, O3, red, R, that's S2, and V filters, um, a bunch of, of them. It's nothing but calibration frames. Going back into MaximDL, I've pointed the automatically generate groups source folder here to that process area. And here I'm going to click the auto generate clear old button. And boom, what it has done is it's gone out to that folder, opened each of those files, read their fits headers, and then placed them into the proper calibration groups automatically for you, which is such a time saver. It's just so much fun to look at. So here you'll see um, it's got six bias frames at negative 10 Celsius. It's captured the six uh, five minute long darks. It's got my flats in blue and H alpha and O3 and red and sulfur and V, uh, all, all separated out by filter, duration, image size, binning, everything. It's all there for you, which point you can just click OK. Here's the coolest part. Now, go to process, instead of saying calibrate, you can calibrate all, and it will go and calibrate all the images appropriately using the correct time base and temperature base and filter base for each image that you have open at this moment. So you just say calibrate all, and off. It went and it did it, which is really cool. So now if you just look through all your images, you'll see that they're nicely calibrated. And we can even go back to one that we know pretty well, the H alpha image, and adjust its screen stretch window. And here's another trick for you. If you find a screen stretch that works for you and you like the way it looks, and you don't want to go through each one of these images individually uh, to set that same screen stretch, set the screen stretch the way you'd like it for one image and then go to view. And then down at the bottom of the menu picks is equalize screen stretch. And what that does is it makes the same screen stretch for each of the images that's currently open. So now when you click through the images, you can see them all with the same screen stretch. That's pretty cool. Well, there you have it. You now know how to calibrate images properly, why we need to do so, and how to do it easily, all in MaximDL. It's a fantastic piece of software. All right, thanks for watching.